Leo hata mimi ninakosa maneno ya kusema. Ndugu yangu, mheshimiwa Steven Kalonzo Musyoka. Viongozi wote ambao wamefika hapa siku ya leo wananchi wa Kenya hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Leo hata mimi ninakosa maneno ya kusema. One of those occasions when you really feel you lack words to express your gratitude. But I want to begin by paying gratitude to all of you who have come here today and who have made a decision to nominate me as your candidate in the coming elections. I want to say that I accept the nomination by Azimio La Umoja to vie for the President of the Republic of Kenya in the August uh, 2022 elections. I accept this nomination with absolute gratitude and dedication to our people our country and all the leaders and parties that have endorsed this nomination. You have handed me a strong, broad and unified platform to stand on an additional pairs of hands to help steady the ship. Azimio is a broad national democratic movement which puts premium on national unity inclusive development, and transparent and accountable use of public resources. We'll use it to continue the struggle to eradicate poverty, ignorance, and disease that our nationalists initiated at independence, but still remains a work in progress. The nomination comes with a responsibility to lead Azimio to a resounding victory in August and put our country firmly on the path of greatness and prosperity. I will deliver with your continued support. This journey has been one of the most unlikely in the history of our country. Nobody ever imagined that one day the parties and individuals that fought on opposite sides in 2013 and 2017 would unite. We got here because of the March 2018 handshake between His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta and myself. I take this opportunity to thank my friend and my brother, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, for this most unlikely journey that we started four years ago and which has changed the history and politics of this country. I want to thank our supporters for standing with us when we, as we neg negotiated strong tides from within and without to steer the country in this transformative direction. Mr. President, a few years ago, a newspaper commented the wrote, and I quote, often when historians set about figuring where a nation took one course rather than another, they are most interested in who said what to whom at a meeting far from the public eye, whose true significance may have been missed even by those who took part in it." Unquote. I remember the many meetings we held with the President, away from the public eye, as tension consumed our country, and our citizens and the international community called for leadership. Our people said, enough is enough, let us part ways. I recall those initial chilly meetings 
where we uttered nothing to each other, and how they later gave way to warm and brotherly chats that enabled us to take a journey down the memory lane and come to a conclusion that something must change. We are grieved that Kenya is greater than the two of us, that Project Kenya has not quite taken off the way our founders envisaged, that we have been held back by artificial divisions. We are grieved that it was within our ability to be the agent of change that is needed. These agreements are taking shape. They're the foundation of the, of the diversity of our people coming together through Azimio La Umoja. At no time in, in recent history has so many parties agreed to come together in pursuit of a united country. Azimio is a family founded on conscious consent. Everyone feel at home. The pledges I make here today with this ticket are pledges I intend to keep. I pledge to lead an all-out war on poverty, unemployment, and hopelessness in Kenya and actualize Article 43 of our Constitution, which guarantees Kenyans the rights of ed to education, health, food, water, housing, and social security. No single Kenyan should ever feel forgotten in our country. I pledge to build an economy that helps every Kenyan make ends meet, put food on the table, pay school fees for their children, and save for the future the very deliberate focus on women. I will strive to eradicate this feeling among majority of Kenyans that however hard they work, nothing seems to change in their lives. I pledge to create a standalone ministry for youth affairs and mainstream, and mainstream appointment of the youth in the Azimio government in addition to tax holiday for the youth enterprises and tax incentives to organizations that employ the youth. I pledge to take technology to farmlands across Kenya and revolutionize agriculture, help farmers produce more and benefit from the sweat of their labor through farm subsidies. I pledge to revolutionize our health services by building on the successes recorded by the Jubilee government. More hospitals and well-paid and motivated health workers, health insurance, and focus on preventive health. We call it Baba Care. Baba Care. I pledge to give every Kenyan child access to the best possible education. More schools, better trained and well-paid teachers, we shall waste no child. I pledge to raise financial allocation to counties from the current at least 15% to at least 35% of the national budget. <laughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta has revolutionized infrastructure in Kenya. A pledge to use the platform of infrastructure to revolutionize industrialization. Wherever the road, the rail, power line, and internet leads, we should have an industry to make Kenya a manufacturing powerhouse. Buy Kenya, build Kenya. I pledge to lead a war against corruption. We will make this country adopt three don'ts to corruption. One, don't want, don't do, and don't dare.
a pledge to create a civil service defined by discipline, hard work, high morale, efficiency, and high ethical standards, devoid of nepotism, tribalism, and favoritism. Civil servants should be assured that if they work hard, maintain a clean record, exercise discipline, then nothing will stand between them and rising to the top. A play to build on President Uhuru Kenyatta's record of putting Kenya at the center of regional, continental, and global engagements. <laughs> Kenya must continue to champion Pan-Africanist ideals and remain a key actor on matters that concern the human race on the global stage. A pledge to tackle our public debt, negotiate repayment periods that are not stressful, invest in projects that give good returns, and borrow at a favorable interest rate when we have to. I pledge to build on the unity of this coalition and, climb and, and eliminate mistrust, unfair competition, and negative ethnicity among our people, the type of the country we have had, we have had during the struggle for independence. Under my watch, Kenyans will regard each other as, as brothers, sisters, and friends, not rivals and competitors. I need your support. I need your help. I will not fail you. Sitaki kusema zaidi haya, na maliza kusema, shukrani sana kwenu, dukuzeri zote, duku kelonzo msioka, tulikuwa, tukuna shida, leo tumbaongea, tumesalimiana, tumesema tutatambea pamoja. Na tumewakikisha kwa mba tunataka kweka kilimutu watu yote pamoja, kama wa Kenya. Ndugu yangu huru kenyata, hamefanya mengi zaidi. Tumshukuru. Na ye, tutatembea na ye, bega kwa bega. Mimi si project yake. Ata ye, si project yangu. Tuko pamoja, tunatembea sambamba. Na kalonzo bilbile na mna hiyo, ata Gideon, Charity, juko hapa na, na Lee, yanjui yuko hapa, Mugisa Kitui, yuko hapa, Oparanya yuko pale, tuko hapo, na watu wetu wote hapa, munya yuko mpande ile, na bus, mana bus yuko hapo, Lonyangapuo, 001. Tuko hapa na wengi sana, 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 sana. Na tutakua pamoja, tutatembea pamoja, kama azimio la umoja ya kuenea wa Kenya, na kuweka Kenya pamoja. Asante ni sana, mungu wa bariki.